Hi, Trini. How are you feeling today? I'm great. Are you in a little knitted number today? Oh, I'm in a jumper. It's so nice and warm and cosy. And we're doing jumpers today, knitwear, finally knitwear. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to just talk about body shapes, which shape jumpers, how you layer them, how you elevate them, how you wear them, how you make them to dress up things or dress down things. But shirts sometimes are there for shape. Jumpers are there for warmth, definitely but they're a soft way to bring a lot of color to your face. Mm -hmm. So in this instance, this is like probably one of my best colors. I've got my best color jumper here in a little list, but this is a color I didn't have when I did this rail and now I've got it. So this could be taking over as my best color jumper. I'm starting with my newest jumper purchase. Some jigsaw and the, a jigsaw has opened up right by my house. I haven't shopped a jigsaw for bloody years. So nice cashmere. They always made the best cashmere jumpers and they lasted a long time. And the cashmere, you know, I don't know how short this cashmere is. Sometimes when it's a very short yarn, they ball easily. But then if they ball, my friend here, let's have a shave, let's have a shave. And yeah. also it makes them look so much more expensive without those balls, doesn't it? So much more expensive. And also sometimes it makes them a lot more expensive if you're tonal. Oh, you know, yeah. so you can get a quite cheap jumper, but it's in a weird color, which you happen to have a bottom. So this is all conditioned up upon you buying in your color wheel you know because if you love a color you kind of buy more than one thing on it so i happen to molly got these for me in the sample sale of victoria beckham didn't you mom yes and um, i haven't worn them and they're a typical beckham trouser because they've got that sewn down front bit so they really are flattering i've got the burgundy ones these are trousers that last for years so this is premium but cozy i'm very hot now this is about how you can wear jumpers so they make your shape change Lots of women who feel uncomfortable around their tummy that we can pull down because we think it makes our tummy look better. But what it does is it turns you into SpongeBob SquarePants. If you have boobs, even more so. Don't pull down. Gently drape or tuck in a bit. So if you have a body which is more pear shape here and a narrow shoulder, you know what I always do, don't you? I know what you're going to do. I'll show you. This was about 18 quid. Fake silk. Doesn't make me sweat though. And it's got shoulder pads, but it gives this shoulder pad definition. So when I put on a jumper, it's going to give me a square of shoulder. But you're going to have here that broadness of shoulder. So now when I look at my hips and I look at that, I've changed my shape by putting the um, shoulder pad underneath. Just to point, this is one way of putting shoulder pads in your jumper, which is to, I would get a little silk vest and put them under because it's the softest way of showing it. Do you see what I mean? You don't see there's a shoulder pad in there. Yeah. You could think it's my shoulder. And I'm going to show you now another way that I've changed knitwear where I've sewn in a shoulder pad. Okay, but yeah, you're right. Great colour on you. Yeah. This was a jumper, is a jumper from Joseph. And Joseph have, over the years, done amazing knitwear. I put the shoulder pads in. All right, so it was originally like, it was like that. Oh. Okay, so quite wide sleeve and quite like a sort of slightly dropped shoulder, do you see? Yes. So it could make, it did make it feel just a little bit wider, mm -hmm. a tiny bit. So... I got these shoulder pads here, they're like that, so it gives that extra square shoulder. It's about squaring off the shoulder, it's not necessarily about broadening it, but stopping it from sloping. That's the key in mm -hmm. this. What I love about this is it's open here, so you see a waist, mm -hmm. um, and you can do that with it. And it's just a very interesting piece. Knitwear to me, actually, is the simple round necks, because I'm a round neck girl. You could be a v-neck girl or a crew neck girl. And I think v-neck girls are great if you have boobs. I think if you've got broad shoulders, a boat neck is lovely. If you've got narrow shoulders, never go near a boat neck, <laughs> go round neck, um, have as much fabric as you can on your shoulder. Um, and you know, whether if you're quite athletic, you can do nothing going in, but if you're curvy, it's kind of difficult to do a square box jumper like I showed earlier. Mm -hmm. This is quite clever for petite girls as well, even if you try to do that slit on your own. That's so true. So this is really, if I want to do a jumper that I'm doing for a really smart dinner when I don't want to dress up, but I want to feel I've made an effort. So it's what I call your total statement jumper. You're invited somewhere, you know it's cold, could be somebody's house, um, and you want to look like you're nearly in black tie, but you're not. This is the jumper I do it with and the trousers I'm going to show you, but I would probably do a lip if I'm doing a navy jumper and I'll do Rossi. So I'm just gonna put that on. And I could even feel I could put my hair up. Let me just see. No, I might let my hair down, but I might just let my hair up for this little bit of upness, you know. Yeah, upness, coolness, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> so this is like, this jumper 
was expensive. It was Celine. It has this sleeve of dreams, which actually needs a little tending from my machine. <laughs> I've just realized I never got to this one. Having that statement jumper can be the alternative when you're going somewhere where it's really smart, but you don't want to wear a dress and you don't want to wear a blouson shirt because you'll be cold. But then it's earrings up, it's a slash of red lip, and it's kind of understated elegance. Yeah, I can't believe how glam you've made a navy jumper. You know, I sometimes do this, and then, yeah, I'm holding onto the sleeve, all right? But then it pokes out around the bottom, and you have that lovely polar neck moment. You kind of come in, and I like the, when you look at where volume is, I love the fact there's volume here, and there's volume at my feet. The coat is narrow, and I just love that kind of feeling, that shape. I love that shape so much. Yeah. That sort of androgynous shape really suits your... Yeah, but the soft frame. feminine yeah. of the floatiness of the wide trouser coming out of the bottom. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. So back to my lovely friend that I adore, which is this old Zara dress. The way I make it wearable is I put Lady J here, like that, on the cheeks, and then I put over Nicole. Nice combo, soft but present. So another trick is also to take a dress that you wear generally to go out and literally put a bloody jump over it. Okay, it's, it's like there couldn't be something simpler than this. But if I wanted to, I would normally wear this with a lovely gold shoe at night. So it's like putting on a pair of boots, making it a bit grungy, having a long sleeve, and it just turns into a skirt. Mm. Do we think the lip is enough? I think you could amp it up a little. I could, okay, I need to add more, so I'm actually going to go for it with... With this colour, I need the strength of my lip. It's Lila's colour more than my grapes, caramels and olives. I don't wear with much, so I need the right things. So. Oh, yeah. Like just does make a difference, doesn't it? It really so does. If you do that with it, I needn't always just be putting it over and making it all grungy. I might actually wear these boots as well, you know, instead of the black, because I just think the black are quite hard. Yeah. Then I might say to myself, can we put a belt over the whole thing? So would I take a sort of belt? and just kind of belt the jumper and make it into a kind of a little bit more of a glamorous moment. Mm. Could I do that? I love the belt with the dress alone. I think with the jumper, maybe it's using a belt to just have the waist and fold it a bit over the belt. I'm not yeah. sure. You're getting so good at this. <laughs> so bloody true. So grungy, cool, chilled with a high boot or a low boot, doesn't matter, but just allows you to take dresses that might be evening dresses and dress them down and wear them as skirts to mm. have a bit of glam and wear it with a white trainer. Hell. I think it looks cool like that as well because you've just thrown the jumper on. Yeah. Put on a little bit of my friend from H&M and just kind of... Yeah, yeah. lots yeah. of friends together. Lots of friends together. <laughs> I love it. Okay, next. So, grey. I love grey. It might be your school uniform, but grey jumpers I do have in like four not 50 shades of grey, but a few. But when I wear grey in the winter, I need to pop it. So I'm gonna actually use Dido and Pia. I really want that pop of colour. The last bit's there. Remind me to blend it in and then put on top the Dido. I'm just gonna have a mega blend for this moment when you're mushing together and not putting one layer over the other. Transformation. Suddenly the grey is not washing me out. Many people have in their wardrobe Grey jumper, pair of sweatpants. This is slightly upping the ante already because me and Em, I live with their bloody sweatpants. It's a silky one. How do I then go from, and please ladies, look at the difference now, just if you do that. You get your form, you know? Everyone should show off their bottom and tummies can be disguised with a little draping. I want to go up dinner. So in my handbag, I've got a little necklace. Um, this is a 20 year old Mew Mew. If you could find choker collars, and there are many, H&M, which does fantastic jewellery, does them. Now, I think they're best on fabric. If you're somebody who maybe has a lot of jumpers at a round neck, but you have boobs, you could get a V-neck collar. And there are lots of fringe collars. Works a treat. And then I might just then put on a nice jacket. And now I've gone from sort of nearly chilling out at home to out for dinner. I'm just going to do with this, it's a darker grey now, and I'm going to try Afric. Afric is an amazing sheer shimmer because what I do is I put it on and it becomes a mixture of highlighter and bronzer and contour all in one night. Isn't that amazing? Just all over. Love it. So this is very classic for me and I'm just thinking would I do this or not because 
I'm putting it on as it's my oldest cashmere in the house, apart from my dad's jumpers. It's from Prada and it is 20 something years old. And nowadays you can't get any jumper, much less not made of cashmere with that little kind of little detail of the thing. But this is the original time. You never saw sequins on jumpers before Prada did it in this season. That was the first time ever. The high street never had done it. And from that, a multitude was born, which we'll go into later about the sequin inspired jumper. But this was the first. I think you can wear, like when I wear a V-neck jumper, I can wear it like that and be a bit sexy and mm -hmm. I can have a nicer bra on and just, this is like very unusual for me. What do we think? Super cool. Yeah? Do you I think really so? like you say it. You say cool and I'm like, this feels old fashioned because it's been 20 years of my wardrobe. I haven't seen it before though and I just thought it's so cool. I love, I love it with the shoes. So what I might do whenever I do a V-neck jumper, I consider a scarf and I think that also just can be cool as a look and get some tonality in your scarf and wear it with a v-neck jumper. I mean, it elevates a jumper. Yeah. So if this was like a plain jumper and I'm taking away now, hopefully all the sequiny bits, um, it just gives that extra something. True. And especially the earring pop. Yeah, the earring pop. For my sparkly number, I feel I need that moment of glamour. Pookie. Oh. I, mean, I can't not recommend more highly the sparkle jumper. But I'm saying it's not the Santa Claus really trashy reindeer flashing light Christmas jumper. Oh yeah. That we'd always get from no the ages many years yeah. ago. You know, that kind of jumper. It's the sort of going out and maybe you're doing sort of glue vine in the snow moment, but you want that bit of glamour and a coat and you have that little sparkle around. And I have this, I have this one, which I got last year from French Connection like that and other stories, you know, and they all look great. They all weren't expensive and they all, lifted up an outfit. I've got this one, that's Joseph. I've got this one, which was Zara, that's more of a shimmer. So just lifts you and it just lifts your mood and it's sort of fun and festive and yeah, very mm -hmm. high waisted. So I was thinking, do I tuck it in or not? Could tuck it in. I saw a great trick the other day where they tuck the knit into the, your bra I if know. it's really long. Yeah, like a little cropped number. Maybe if they were like super high. And like super high, you think, why I'm changing much. Well, I mean, <laughs> for my final moment I'm going to take off the pookie because I've got burgundy going on and I just you I could do burgundy with pookie but I'm just thinking no I want to channel something else so I'm going to get ream flush blush I could have done munchkin for this look too actually it's that kind of 90s lip without being too much of a 90s lip flush blush on eyes lips and cheek what can you and then on top of it all I'm going to put Katie which is sheer shimmer really delicious. I don't know, it gives me a heart back to an old makeup, but in a modern, fresh way, like that. But this is really interesting for me because this is a wrist. It's a polo neck, which I've only got very few of. It's a print. Um, it's by Prada. And I know the high street will copy it for sure if they haven't already. And what I think I love is I always feel there was a movie with Jack Nicholson, Diane Keaton, and she wore the polo necks and he said, that's so unsexy. But there's something comfortable about a polo neck, but it's how do you make a polo neck cool? What I love is it's stretchy and it's going to bring the pattern down from my jacket and this is a classic jacket i'd normally do a white shirt underneath this and have the victoria beckham trousers this is um really old um frida which was a matches label there. that's cool it's cool huh yeah molly actually told me that you may have bought something else something else yeah at the same time as this okay <laughs> <laughs> first one I got and I did it with my yellow Prada coat love that and I loved it the contrast and colors it made me feel a fit cool land just something of this with a bright yellow is phenomenal and then I saw on the website there were in fact not in England these two. Oh my god um, so I got these two <laughs> but I also realized I also got another one was the last one. Oh wow and, this is and that's men's, men's this is men's because I thought Best print ever. Look yeah. Look on me. Little on the back. And I've got to wear them now. I mean, it's like I've gone mad. So you see, that looks so cool. And then I thought I've got lots of other outfits I can then make cool again. And my motivation here for the multiple purchasing was let me make other outfits cool again. All right, darling. <laughs> We've done, thank 
We've done knitwear. I'm We've so done relieved it. to get out of the way because it was like on my mind. I felt so guilty reading all the comments for knitwear <sighs> thinking we need to do knitwear. I know, which leaves us wide open for more ideas mm -hmm. now. Jewelry we know is on the list. Yes. I'm gonna get round to it. I just, I've got to feel at the weekend I get motivated to come up with rails. I'm thinking party, but I'm thinking, oh, yeah. you know, like, how much are you going to go out to parties? I'm going to go a lot this year. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. So people are really dressing up again? Yeah. There isn't that kind of, we're just starting to dress up. There's... I think because we didn't last year, I'm like going all out this year. You are? Yeah. She's such a party animal. Molly, are you going to many parties? <laughs> yes. You are? Okay. Molly's a bigger party animal. <laughs> I'm Trini, no friends, no invites. I mean, I'm thinking, do I have anything? The thing is, you know what? I wear a party dress every day. So for me, every day is a party. It is. Yeah. It really is. All right. But we'll show some looks and ideas and Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah. I'd what love would that. you like to see with party? What's your kind of biggest problem when you're thinking about party wear? Um, buying that one dress that you wear for an event and you never wear it again and you're like, why have I spent a lot of money on this? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you buy <laughs> the dress so that you can wear it? So I'll have to look for what that the dress, what the the dresses were in my wardrobe mm. that I continue to wear in lots of different ways. So we'll do a bit of that and other things and unusual things of yeah. dressing stuff up. And I love seeing how you wore them in the past. Like, I love seeing that. Well, you're darling, you'll be researching and having yeah. to do all the edits. So <laughs> I'll leave that one to you and you can just go back to, you know, some of the, we can just nab some things off Google mm. and just do some moments. Party vibes. Party vibes. All right, till next week. Thanks Bye. for watching.